Hi babes, it's me, Shannon for Brown Girl Bella, back to bring you more lips, lashes, and luxury. Today is Monday, and you know what we do on Mondays. We McGrath. So sit back, relax, and let's McGrath. Brown Girl Bella. All right, if you're new, how do you do? My name is Shannon B, and this is Brown Girl Bella, where we discuss all things lips, lashes, and luxury. Today on Mondays, we McGrath, so today is a deep dive on a McGrath new release or just a throwback on some favorites that I happen to have in my collection. Today we're going to be talking about her Lunar New Year collection which features this palette right here. Now don't bother adjusting your dial. This is a re-repeat of this palette. This one is called Venus in Fleurs Luxe Quad Voyeuristic Vixen. So she released this, I want to say about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. And now she's re-releasing it in limited edition packaging on behalf of Lunar New Year. So we're going to take a look at this. We're also going to get the packaging of the new lipstick that she released along with this collaboration for Luna New Year. It is in the Luna New Year packaging and this is Rouge number eight. So we're gonna take a look at all of those, but before we do that, you know what we gotta do? We gotta put this face on. So let's begin with our Pat McGrath primer. I use about that much to just prime my face and my forehead, get everything all ready for our makeup application. Now I love this primer, but as my babes know, I do not like the packaging. Can we zero in on this? Yeah, that is not Lux. <laughs> But, you know, I digress. I do enjoy the, the primer, but man, do I not like the packaging. All right, I'm going to put some lotion on my hands because I just realized my hands are like really dry. I just came in from outside. I finally, everyone, I finally got my package from Beautylish, my lucky bag after everyone else of course but I do want to record that so I'll probably do that this week as well all right so here is the foundation that I'm going to use this is the Pat McGrath foundation in medium deep 23 this is my I guess everyday shade now I was going to say it's my winter shade but it's really like the shade that I would use throughout the year. So we're just going to use one pump. I'm going to blend that into the skin. And as you can see, she named this skin fetish for a reason. It really does look and feel like second skin on your face. I love this. And the smell is not bad. It's not overpowering at all. It's a light fragrant smell, which I appreciate. I've tried, let's see, I've tried medium deep 22, 21, 23, and 24. 24 was the first one that I did. And I can actually use 24 as well. There's not much difference between 20 Actually, between 21 and 24, it's just a little shade difference. Very, very slight. It's not major. So if you want to try, this is 23. If you want to try 24 for a little bit of deepness, you can certainly do that. Or you can try 22, which will be a little shade off of what I have on my face currently. Sorry guys, I'm just looking through to find my 
concealer. Oh, please. Okay, we're back. So here is the concealer. This is medium deep 22. And I'm gonna put that on my under eyes as my concealer. Very creamy, very luxe. It's really beautiful on the skin. And I can actually use this all over because I have the foundation in 22. So it's the same as the foundation, but 22 as concealer and 23 as foundation. What I'm finding is it gives me an extra little leg up. It gives me an extra little leg up in terms of brightness underneath the eye without it being too sharp of a contrast between the foundation and the concealer. Okay, all done with the concealer and I took a little break to grab my drink. I had gotten a lemonade from Wendy's. Oh my gosh, that all natural lemonade is the truth. I love it. But um, finished it, so I put some seltzer water in there. So that's what I'm drinking now, some seltzer water with the rest of the ice. So refreshing. Okay, I am going to use now the medium deep number three as my all over powder. Just gonna buff that into the skin. I love this powder because it sets all makeup really well, but really sets Pat McGrath makeup very, very well. And it's not cakey, so if you make a mistake and build it up a little too much or use a little bit too much powder, no worries because it will not like look cakey on the skin. It looks very skin-like and flawless. All right, so we're done there. And for the under eyes, I'm going to use her deep Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Blurring Under Eye Powder. And I have the shade Deep. So that's what Deep looks like. I also have Yellow, which I've been using. But every now and then I like to switch up. And she had such a major sale for the holidays that I was like, yeah, let me just grab... Let me just grab these now that they're like super, super discounted. I'm worried. I don't know if anybody else is, but I'm a little worried that she keeps having all of these sales and she keeps re repeating packaging. Like, I hope that there's nothing wrong with the brand and that the brand is still healthy and, and still growing and thriving this is her medium deep number four i use three for all over but four i like to use as a bronzer or like a contour i'm hoping that there's nothing wrong with the brand and that she's just you know doing a few discounted pieces. I do like the piece that she did for the upcoming Valentine's Day. It's going to be releasing this week on the 27th. So I'm definitely going to grab some pieces from there. Those eyeshadows look so beautiful. All right, now that we have our base down, I'm going to put the Divine Blush Duo on my cheeks. I'm going to use Cosmic Coral. And this is what Cosmic Coral looks like. Is that not pretty? So gorgeous. So gorgeous. So I love this. This is such a pretty, pretty shade. I'm going to use my Sonia G brush. This is the Cheek Pro. I'm just going to strike it across so we can pick up both shades. I'm just going to buff that onto the skin. 
man. I'm so glad that she gave us blushes. I hope she gives us more blushes this year. I can use some cream blushes in my life. Ooh, yes, mama. Mother Pat, bring us some cream blushes, please. Thank you. <laughs> I would love that. Okay, so we have that on. And finally, I want to get... I want to get the highlighter so this is the highlighter divine glow and this is in the shade golden nectar here is what golden nectar looks like very nice all right let's use a fan brush let's use the refer number 20. i'm just going to strike that on the high points of the cheeks down the center of the nose, not on the nose, because we don't want to look like Rudolph. That season is over. <laughs> no tea, no shade, but you know, my name is not Rudolph. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, now let's jump into this Venus in Fluids. So I got this, like I said, when it first released. I love the shades in here. She gives us one matte, one um, really, two really sparkly shimmers, and one which is like a satin shimmer. Really, really pretty. I'm going to start with my rougher brush, and this is the Worker. I'm going to go into that matte shade first which is called After Dusk. And using my handheld mirror, we're going to go in and carve out that brow bone. I did use a little bit of the concealer to use as my base for my eyeshadow. Look at that. So pretty. I'm going to take another Sonia G brush. This is from her Fusion line. This one is called The Builder. And we're going to start with this color right down here, which is Twilight Bronze. So we're gonna use that color, and it's so pretty. We're gonna use that on the lid. I'm gonna start in the back half, start in the middle and work our way backwards. Using that same brush, just wiping it off, we're gonna go to the top shade now, which is Rose Fire Nectar. I'm going to use the other side of the brush and we're just going to pat that onto the lid starting from the inner corner to the middle kind of marry the two colors together that are in the center And again, you're going to get a little fallout, but not much. Especially if you use, especially if you use light tapping motions, you're not going to get a whole lot of fallout, even with these kind of crumbly, kind of chunky shades. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to take an Isom brush. This is the B09 and we're going to put that final shade which is called Moonlight Liaison that is this color right here and we're going to throw that in the inner corner add a little spark of color there
perfect. And then what's left over, we're just going to put that right underneath the brow bone and blend that in. If you have any fallout, just take a fluffy brush. We're going to use one of our Shikahotos. And we're going to just buff that out. I'm going to use Pat McGrath's Extreme Black to line the eyes. I'm going to tight line top. as well as the bottom. We're going to take a, another refer brush. This is the O2. We're going to go back to that first shade and we're just going to use that underneath the lower lash line and marry it to what we did at the top. Just to kind of smooth out the harshness of the black liner underneath. Then let's grab Mother's Dark Star Mascara. Drop it low and wiggle slow. Okay, now we have our lashes on. Now let's get to these lips, shall we? This lipstick, I will say, because I've tried it before, it's kind of a marriage between a red and a pink. So I am going to use one of Mother's pinkish lip liners. This is in Cosmic Vibes. And I'm going to line the lips and kind of feather it in a little bit on the sides. So that when I put the lipstick on, it kind of marries into this pinky red look. Mm. meld the two lips together so that they are almost completely filled in and now we're going to put rouge number eight on top all right and this is the finished look voila utilizing mother's newest lipstick for the lunar new year this is rouge number eight as well as the Venus in Flores. Um, again, I did not get the Lunar New Year edition, but this is the same thing, just in its original packaging. Now, would I get this if I didn't have this? Yes, of course, I would have gotten this. I love the look that this palette gives me. I love the two like really chunky shimmer shades. I think they do a great job blended in together, as you can see. And that uh, matte shade, it's like a cross between like a plummy uh, purple and like a berry great for this time of year when it's a little nippier outside we're into winter season especially if you're in the northeast um, it's definitely parker season right now um, we even got a little wintry mix of like snow and rain today so this look would have been perfect for that um, i love the looks that i get from here you can do a multitude of looks you can use the matte shade and do a one and done it would be perfect for that. You can use any of the shimmer shades and do the same thing, one and done. 
So I definitely, yes, would have gotten the Voyeuristic Vixen if I didn't have it already in its original packaging in the Lunar New Year Edition packaging. Because I think the packaging, which looks very similar to this, as a matter of fact, this is the exact packaging. So I definitely would have gotten it. I got the last year's Lunar New Year um, well, not last year. I think it was the year before last. <laughs> I think it was the year before last. Uh, her Lunar New Year um, quad that she... I, I think it was a quad. Let me look and see. Okay, so the last time that Mother did a Lunar Edition packaging and release was this one. And I forget which one it was for. But it was Golden Opulence. It's a six pan. And I like these colors too. Very nice. She gave us two matte shades and the rest are um, satin shimmers. So yeah, great, great, great palette. Solid packaging, solid palette. And uh, I definitely utilize this palette. Not as often as I would like, but I do utilize it. So maybe I will take it out. Actually, I'll put it here in front of me. So I'll use it throughout this week. So yes, thumbs up. I really enjoy this. If you want to know more about the new release for Lunar New Year, I will leave what I know in the description box below along with the price of the palette and the lipstick. I believe that is the only thing that she hit. Oh, and the under eye powder. So she did this in like a translucent white which I believe is also a re-repeat and um, repackaging, but the actual packaging of it is not red. It's this color, so, and it's white. So I was like, I don't need that at all. Between my yellow and now the deep, I'm set with the under eye powder. So I didn't get anything except for the lipstick. But check it out. See if you are interested in picking up anything. As always, hit me in the comment section below and let me know what you thought about this look, about the Lunar New Year packaging from Pat McGrath. If you think something's going on with the company too, because they're doing a lot of re-repeats and re-promotions of packaging and uh, shades that she's already released. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. You know, I always like to hear from my babes. And until next time, you have now been bellified. Take care and I'll see you back here soon.